Good day and welcome back right, to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Int Super Saiyan God SS Vegeta and Super Saiyan Trunks Future Unit and how they do in the Omega, well, no, sorry, the Sin Shenron event. Now, the Sin Shenron event is the latest high difficulty event to come to DBZ Doka Metal. And it's probably on par, I would say, with the hardest red zone stages, you know, Metal Core Cooler, Broly, uh, etc. But what makes the Sin Shinron event so interesting uh, and so different is it's a very, very high level of base defense requirement to tank the AoE normals. So in the AGL and the physical phase, there is a very, very high level of requirements of defense needed to be able to tank uh, the normal attacks that he throws out as an AoE. And this is, I don't want to say unusual, but it is different to, you know, maybe what you've experienced uh, in the past in terms of events. So it's quite, quite interesting from that regard. Now, in terms of the event itself, uh, obviously, you have three different typings. So you start off with Int, then you have AGL, then you have Physical. Uh, if you take a look at obviously Trunks and Vegeta, technically they should struggle with the last phase, but remember they do have God. And we're going to talk obviously a little bit about them now. So they're a Bond of Parents and Child lead. Very strong category by the way, Bond of Parents and Child and Future, I think it gives them good coverage. The only units that don't really fall under this section are like Fusion units and Patara, at least they cover the Tech Vegeta. But outside of that, they don't have a lot of fusions. So that's one thing that they do struggle with a little bit. They don't have access to some of the really solid units, but for the most part, they have access to pretty much like every you know major unit you'd probably want to have access to. They raise attack and defense one turn on their 12 key, and they raise attack and defense permanently on their 18 key, which is very crucial, by the way. They then activate the entrance animation once only, have key plus 2, defense is 70% and guard all attacks for 5 turns from start of turn when there's another bond of parents and child category ally attacking in the same turn. This is a pretty easy requirement to fulfill and gives them pretty good starting defense. They have key plus 2, attack and defense of 140% and they launch an additional attack with the medium chance of becoming a super. They then have an additional key plus 1, defense of 15% up to 75% and chance of performing a crit plus 7% up to 35% with each attack received. They then also have an additional attack and defense of 70% and they guard all attacks as the first attacker in the turn. And this is crucial, basically they have guard uh, as long as they are in the first slot. Now some people who, you know, some reason don't like this. Uh, I'm not certain where the premise was that guard uh, was not an acceptable situation to have. Uh, people say it forces you to put them in the first slot. You know, I understand maybe people don't like to, you know, have their rotations dictated to them. But these guys are still an exceptional unit and you know they can really honestly get up to a pretty high defense rather quickly. You know they obviously have that stacking defense per hit. They also stack their defense on their 18 key which is pretty crucial. On top of that, you know, they also obviously have quite a few additional benefits. You know, the 35% crit, that's always something that's really good. You know, 35% crit is a pretty decent, you know, kind of level of crit. And what that means is you can pretty much predominantly build them into additional. So not only will they raise off their 18 key, but you'll get multiple one turn raises off of their 12 key. Now, in terms of everything to do with them, yeah, the active skill is also pretty helpful, uh, which you can activate from the third turn uh, if there's a future saga category character or alternatively when your HP is 50% or less from the fifth turn. And the active skill is again also something very helpful. Uh, gives you 20% defensive boost for the rest of rotation, which as you can imagine is something that's really really good. And yeah, just in general I think they have a really solid foundation when it comes to their performance. I think overall they're a very really strong unit. I think they have a very good mixture of abilities. I think they bring a lot of really 
good things to the table. You know, like really, really, really solid capabilities to the table. And I think overall they just are a very strong, very good option. You know, for me, like, I think they, you know, their leader skill's great. I think having two of them secures up the first and second, well, the first slot in both rotations, which is very good. I think that's something that's incredibly crucial uh, and helps you to really just, you know, come out swinging basically to have a very very good set rotations be very secure in your rotations now obviously you know they rely on raw defense and guard so they still can take a fair chunk of damage like we're gonna see them you know in the Sinchen run stage they are gonna take uh, a super attack and they're going to yeah they're gonna tank it for around 300k I you know obviously everyone loves it when a unit tanks something for like single digits or you know, 100k or you know, 50k or something but the thing is is at the end of the day as long as they can tank it for around about half your health generally I consider that pretty good tanking because a lot of the times nowadays with the level of defense units have especially in requirement to do these events picking up same type of orbs and all that can heal you for quite a bit so having units that can quite easily tank in that regard is pretty good so yeah overall I would say Trunks and Vegeta look very solid I think they are an incredibly strong option uh, and I think they really do quite well I wanted to see how I wanted to see how they did in the Sin Shinran event because I wanted to see if they still were as dominant I would say as they have been for me uh, again you can see yeah 194k honestly not too bad obviously this is the AGL section but still pretty easy um, I would say they their scalability is pretty good because of their stacking attack and defense their scalability at the end of the day is really like quite solid yeah I think when you consider all things I think they bring enough to the table that they really can just be a dominant force for the most part like at least for me so here's the big question obviously we want to see how well they've done uh, we have the active skill as well so that's also something that's going to be very helpful uh, and yeah it's just all well, we have uh, Gohan's active skill um, and yeah if we had the active skill that's also would be pretty good you know obviously the you know, big question would be can they improve the tanking the rest of the rotation 20% defensive increase does actually help the rest of the rotation quite a bit uh, so that's obviously something excellent uh, and yeah damage is going to be an issue they're not a big damage dealer so there's one thing uh, I will admit if they don't get their crits off they don't do a lot of damage they don't shuck out like 11 million attack stats and things like that uh, that you often see with like strength Gogeta or tech Vegito and things like that so yeah that can cause them some problems but honestly speaking the amount of defensive security they bring you uh, and the quality of their team they can bring yeah they're good bye